Evening folks, this is Vagrid and we are back playing The Sinking City. In today's video we're going to start work on Fathers and Sons. We met the bartender last time, they're doing the smuggling and he doesn't really trust me so we're going to try to uh, sort that out basically. We need to go to Western Grimhaven... I already marked it didn't I? I did indeed. Right, so we're going to Western Grimhaven Bay which it's kind of lacking in fast travel right now, so we'll hopefully grab one of those whilst we go over. We're trying to find out where the smugglers are, so we can smuggle out Man. Man has a name, can't remember it. We're trying to smuggle the guy out, because he's going to lead me to Anna, and like the leaders of the EOD, and stuff like that. Oh no, he knows where uh, Doe is being kept. Doe, a deer, a female deer, blue, blah 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 blue, don't know the rest of the song. Okay, so that wasn't immediately obvious. What are we doing? Just gonna burn in a rat. Nice, good stuff. Realistic, makes sense. Iron up that boat. Oh, we're gonna walk into the wall. Right, where are we going? Straight forward. Uh, maybe not straight forward. Sigh. Is there even a way in? Yeah. Okay. Oh no, it's actually in the infested area. Okay, we have to deal with it, right? Let me just double check this. Western Grimhaven Bay, Levi Coffin Avenue, not far from the crossroad with Marsh Avenue. Yeah, it's around here somewhere. Yeah. I don't know if I'm quite in the infected area. Oh no, oh no. Wait, what? I'm trapped. Hang on. There we go. I want inside. There we go. I run! No! If you can, uh, ah! <laughs> if you can avoid infected areas, you should avoid affected areas. Okay. Huh. Levi Coffin Avenue, not far from the crossroad of Marsh. I'm just wondering if I come from the other side, if I walk around here. Also, what we should also do. I believe I have something to get around here. It's not going to be a tome. It's not going to be a letter, is it? No. Music, stopping spooky. <laughs> Nothing over to that one. Open house. That's no. It must be the other one. Extra hours. Am I going crazy? I sh I was sure I had something on uh, Grimhaven Bay. Huh. Shows why I know. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I'm still pretty sure I had something on Grimhaven Bay, but whatever. Well, let's head up this way and try to curl around a little bit, and hopefully we can avoid the infected area. If not, we'll go do some blasted. That's fine. Why? 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 <laughs> why do people keep carrying around these spooky dolls? Okay, feeling pretty optimistic about this actually. I think I made the right call. I'm going down here. So just a little bit down here. We're looking for any open door, basically. And there we hey, look at that. See? I know what I'm doing. Right? Yeah, that's gotta be it. Korea's final destination. Nice. Right, pistol out. Okay. Let's have a little poke. See what we can see. So we're trying to find... You remember the bartender at the pub? had a courier who's meant to deliver some alcohol and we're trying to find out what happened with the courier and hopefully retrieve the alcohol as well oh you know what we're gonna do, I wanna try to start a shotgun left by something heavy with wheels like your mama get it? cause your mama's a bike the blood's almost dry wasn't what I was going for initially but we got there eventually what's this? gasoline empty but reeks of gasoline. That is probably because it was a canister of gasoline. Like I'm no expert, but I'm just gonna put that out there. Oh, hello. This is this is pleasant. I've seen ashes like this before. Well, that's one way to get rid of a corpse. You say that, but is this really getting rid of getting rid of a corpse? The, I mean, the skeleton is still there, right? There we go. I knew something was gonna try to kill me. Alright, if it's, uh, depending on the s oh, wait, is it upstairs or, what's going on? 
There it is. Oh, that was bad. Reload, reload, reload. Okay, I'm not blown away by the shotgun strength quite yet, if I'm honest. Eh, we'll keep using it. Oh no, we're meant to use a pistol. When we've got full pistol ammo, we use the pistol. That's that's the that's the deal. Hello. Monsters. Oh, jump, 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 spooky noises. Hey, we've got the whiskey. Nice. What's going on? Game, stop it. Okay. Oh. Ah, aha. What's occurring? You're done, kid. Someone talks to the cops behind my back. Their history. Get him, boys. Oh, that's a it's a quadruple. Right, so there's a dude in a wheelchair. He's running the operation. No mercy, boys. He's been asking for this. They're killing the courier, and then they burn him. Get rid of him. Leave nothing but ashes. Understood? Drock. Whose idea was it to hide the crates in such a stupid way? Time to figure this out. I'm gonna You're sh right. I, I think I've released You're done, kid. Yeah, it must be this. No mercy, boy. Get rid of him. Leave nothing but ashes. Understood? Eh? Yeah. Someone was looking for a crate here and was brutally killed. The crew that did it were headed up by a guy in a wheelchair. Mwada in the basement. Jump, 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 jump. There we go, out we go. Right. I guess what they want me to do is go to the police station next. Oh no. I think we're going back. Right, so, wait, who sent me on this mission in the first place? Bartender, bartender, right, so we need to find our way back to... There's gotta be a fast travel around here, surely. I don't see one for bloody miles, it's crazy. I we head down to the south. Just keep an eye out. One will pop up. I've got faith. There has to be one around here. There just has to be. Let's get rid of that. I will find you, fast travel. And I will activate you. What's your problem? They need more voice lines for that. Everyone just goes, what's your problem? What's your problem? See? <laughs> that was perfect. Seriously? Really no fast travel? That blows me away. I am blown away right now. There's gotta be. There's gotta be. There it is. There it is. I knew it. I knew it. Western... Wherever the hell we are. Old Haven? Um, Western something, anyway. Western Supermare. Grimhaven Base. Oh, south. Whatever. Right. Uh, okay, so we need to go back to the bar, which is that. Cool. It's going well. It's going well. Oh, Fred. Fred was the dude. So we're trying to help Throgmorton find dough by helping Thread. Fred. Not not Thread. Fred. By helping Fred by helping the bartender. It's just a chain of doing things for people until eventually somebody gives me the information I need, essentially. You guys got a mission for me? Oh, no, no one. Well, I found your courier. I hate to break it to you, but he's dead. Someone didn't like him talking to the cops, and, well, they made it pretty savage. Oh, okay, I'm dead. He might think I was in on it. He? Who's he? The boss. Yeah. Is there anything I can do to help? Nay, hey, I'll handle it. But take my advice. The boss is the only man who can arrange a bon voyage. Don't do anything to make him unhappy. There, a newcomer. Here's the note with your instructions. Beyond that, you're on your own. Okay, thanks. I wonder if I could be a voice actor. Hey, <laughs> bit. Here's your water of life. Here's your water Shh, of life. Keep it down, pal. Me. Not too shabby, newcomer. You deserve a reward for this. Yeah, of course I do. <laughs> Bye. 
You just gave me a cartridge. You literally gave me a single bullet. <laughs> That's a reward. You utter bloody cheapskate. Mind Palace. Smuggler's boss. Ruthless tyrant. Okay, alright. Wonder a point. And oh, okay. Uh, what's this one? No. Southern Salvation Harbour. It's around here. An alley on Windmill Ave, which is there, between Octopus and Skipper. So. Okay, so hop down there, get on that boat. I'm hopeful for a fast travel point down here as well. Papa loves his fast travel points, okay? Where am I going? Yeah. Papa gotta get paid. Papa gonna stop calling himself Papa now. <laughs> Papa, Papa, Papa's weird. Papa just reminds me of Stranger Things. And I really want to talk about Stranger Things Season 3 with more people. But nobody's seen it yet. Like, not enough people have no lives and can just binge watch content. Stop doing things with your life and just watch TV so I can talk about it, thank you. Obviously, it's not the kind of thing you can talk about in a video to like... Probably a month afterwards I would say, something like that. On my uh, Discord I had an endgame... Do I link the Discord in my... So Hmm, Solly Bacon videos, I wonder. On my Discord, I had an endgame spoiler channel up for months! And I still haven't seen it! <laughs> I'm still waiting. Oh, God. Cut that corner beautifully, just hit the apex. I mean, actually, like, bounced off it slightly, but that's, that's okay. Take our next right. There we go. Okay, so Nally on Windmill Avenue. Well, this is Win. No, this isn't Windmill. Is this Windmill? I can't see. Where's Windmill? Am I on Windmill? No, this is Starfall. Why have I come here? Am I really confused? <laughs> An alley on Windmill Ave, between Octopus and Skipper. That's Skipper. That's Octopus. Oh, it is Windmill. It's just because it looks like it should be the same avenue, right? I mean, why would I put it in the wrong place? An alley on Windmill. So we're looking for a windmill between Skipper and Octopus. Looking for, looking for a windmill? What am I on about? We're looking for, a, we're looking for an alleyway. This is an alleyway. No. I don't want to go too far forward. Oh, this is looking promising. Hey, fella. What do you do when you see a dog? Pet it or kick it away? Pet it. Wait, was I meant to say something? Yeah. I'd kill it, because the dog's rabid. Right you are. You're a new one, huh? Come with us. I was not paying attention. Just take me to your boss. If I have to kill you all, I'll kill you all. It's not really an issue. Okay, that was weird. Oh. Oh, he's standing. He's not in his wheelchair. I'm suspicious. Is that Anna? No. Who are you? And what the drop do you want? Let's be quick about it, kid. I don't have the whole damn day. Let's just say I'm a private detective and leave it at that. <laughs> Cocky, ain't you? So be it, kid. I have a pretty good idea who you might be. You were working for Throgmorton, right? So, what do you want? I want to smuggle a man out of the city. Yeah, a lot of people want to leave Oakmont, kid. Few ever succeed. It won't be easy. And, like everything in life that's worthwhile, it won't be cheap. Oh, of course. So, what's it gonna cost me? Normally, I wouldn't do drock for a newcomer. But you're doing business with that old ape lover, Throgmorton. 
I think that's interesting. That tells me you're worth something, kid. Now, I have a job needs doing, but it needs to stay between the two of us. <sighs> Guess I have no choice. So, what do I need to do? First things first. My name's Brutus Carpenter, rightful head of the Carpenter family. Second thing, someone tried to kill me a week ago. Oh, you're not asking me to track them down and kill them, are you? No, kid. I've got hatchet men if I need them. And I don't want to kill them anyway. I just want to know who was gunning for me and why. Yeah, I know how it sounds. But after I almost died, I realized that being a hard case isn't the only option. I want to try to do things differently. All right, color me interested. How did this all happen? I woke up in the crematorium inside a rolled up carpet. I had this tag on my toe like some cadaver. And I was covered in this weird rancid slime. I managed to get myself out of there. But what I saw once I got home made me think I had a screw loose. And what did you see? Me, kid. Some palooka wearing my face and walking out my front door like all was well with the world. So I decided to get out and hole up here. Gathered a small company and pulled myself together. Hmm. Interesting. What was your last memory before the crematorium? I can remember clearly a dinner I had a week before the incident. After that, only bits and pieces. I remember writing something in my diary. I don't recall what, except it was important. Those notes could tell us how it all started. And I suppose that diary is still in your manner. Exactly, kid. In a strong box in my room. You have my permission to crack it if it's necessary. I'll write you the address. You must have tried to do something about this imposter already. Of course I did, kid. I wouldn't be asking for your help if this was just a walk in the park. My people said they killed that other me. It didn't change a thing. I guess they got the wrong guy. There's this thing that people in this game do when they get a name for your character, they call it you constantly. This guy said kid about 500 times. If someone calls you a newcomer, they'll do so at every opportunity. If someone wants to call you Charlie, they'll do so at every opportunity. Any thoughts on who'd want to do this to you? Yeah, it must be someone close to me, so I can't trust anyone. I haven't even contacted my son Graham. Normally I'd get him to solve this. I'm vulnerable now. I can't risk exposing myself. Another good reason to bring in an independent contractor. So where would I find the city's crematorium? Ah, of course you don't know. You're a newcomer after all. Here's the address. I got it. Hmm. It appears you're quite capable of standing without aid. So why the wheelchair? Does your curiosity always beat out your courtesy? Pretty much. I'll tell you if it makes you happy. I'm old. Some days I feel tired. This wheelchair, unlike many people, has never crossed me. <sighs> so I know I can count on it if I need to. Yawn. You mentioned your son, Graham. Can you tell me more about him? Graham? Why would you care? He has nothing to do with this. You sound pretty sure about that. Of course. Graham is too honest. And since the end of the war, he turned into a real bleeding heart. It's become a bit of a headache, actually. Of course, we've had our differences. Especially about the family business. But he would never hurt a fly. Let alone me. Goodbye. I just... I just... I'd have broken all your Just bones, fella, if Papa Brute hadn't no put you off the limits. That's a differing opinion, though. I'm just a little perturbed. Am I perturbed? I'm not really perturbed. I'm more curious that... 
we just saw for the very first time in our flashback to whoever killed the smuggler that this guy is involved with, by the way. He he runs the smugglers, essentially, right? That's the idea. That's why we're talking to him in the first place. But whoever killed the smuggler was led by a guy in a wheelchair. And we have literally never seen a single person in a wheelchair. Whoa. What gives? A little blackmail, a little larceny. Yeah, it's not much for quantity, but Just like so the much for quality. Even my gear's in better shape. Where the hell am I going? You like it here, newcomer? Oh. Well, get used to it. There we go, right. So my point is, we've never seen a... S oh. We've never seen a single person with, in a wheelchair in this entire game so far. And now, all of a sudden, we see someone in a wheelchair killing the smuggler. And then all of a sudden, we see another guy in a wheelchair for like the second time ever, all within the space of like two seconds. That just seems suspicious to me. And, oh, hello. And for good reason, seemingly. Gotta dump this garbage. Papa Brute will be here any minute. Papa. Papa. Five. <laughs> okay. Who is keeping Cordite in compact? Wait. Damn it. So what's this all about? <laughs> um. This is a this is a dead, this is a dead lass. Ah! The blood dried not too long ago. Where is my all evidence collected thing? Game! Stopping a tease! All evidence collected. Hmm. What is going on? Yeah, so my point is, what are the chances that we see two people in wheelchairs in such a short succession and that... I mean, we don't know. Maybe it's the same guy. It could literally be the same guy. I have no way of knowing. Why would he kill his own smuggler? I don't know. How are you doing, handsome? Okay. Oh, there we go. Funny thing. I found a dead woman in your basement. Now, I don't suppose you had your men kill her. Quiet, you! You're scaring Mary. Look, she didn't die by my order, kid. Take my word for it. And the guilty have already been severely punished. Look, I have my shortcomings, but I don't hurt women or kids. Of course. But Saying all that just kind of clicked in my head. Don't know why it took so long. The whole point is that some guy has stolen this guy's face somehow. is pretending to be him. So maybe whoever killed the smuggler was in a wheelchair just to kind of sell the ruse. Where the hell is this evidence I'm meant to be looking for? Oh, God only knows. It doesn't matter, let's leave. Where's the door again? There it is. Right, so. Oh, hmm. Brush with, hmm. Cool. What are we doing? We are going to the manor and we're also going to the crematorium. Let's go to the manor first. I forgot we'll to whichever's closest. Southern Old Grove, which is up here, right? Yes. Gold Bridge, which is there between Century and Hillside, so it's about there. The other one is Reed Heights, which is up here. It's the corner of Wayne Road and Phillips. Wayne Phillips. Okay, fast travel there, and for this one we're gonna fast travel. I mean, yeah, it doesn't really matter which order you do these in, does it? So we just need to find our fast travel, which is down here, and away we go. <clears throat> I wonder if I can shoot that. Some good shooting there, Vagrant. There you go. <laughs> could use a four bullet. I mean, I've always got tons of pistol ammo. We might as well use it for something. But uh, no, it's probably a bit stupid. Okay, I, I have a. F no, let's just do the crematorium script. For some reason, my mind is making me want to go to the 
to the uh, manor first because that's where he was taken from and he was making notes in his diary that he thinks are important and he woke up in the crematorium. So it makes a little sense to approach it chronologically, right? Also want to point out how useless, so far at least, that the... There's a, there's a skill. Actually, do I have any skill points, by the way? No. There's a skill point that you can use to half the damage that the eels do. And the eels live in the water, like around the city, like in this bit. But I've not want I've been in the water once, and I didn't get bitten. It just seems like the most pointless skill point. It's a pointless point. It's just a list. Is that it? No. Oh, I'm in the wrong place. Hope dope. Because you only control this with the left thumbstick, it's quite difficult to do like left hand down and right hand down. You kind of have to angle the thumbstick in a very unusual way. Back and left, it's just, it's just not a common direction. Whereas in modern driving games, you of course use the, the right trigger to go, and then you can angle a bit differently. How, how big would a crematorium be? Is there any chance that's the crematorium? I'm not seeing a way out over here. Usually there's a docking station. I mean, there doesn't have to be. I'm also not seeing the H. The only reason I'm suspicious is the H is sometimes incredibly difficult to spot. But maybe this is it. Oh, this looks like it. Oakmont. Oakmont Crematorium. There we go. Okay. There it is. I really wish NVIDIA Ansel worked on this program. I have been... Let me just try it one more time. Yeah. <sighs> it's been really hard to get from the hills. <laughs> okay. Spooky. Okay, well, let's just, let's just go down to the bottom and work our way up. Probably the opposite of how you should do it in reality, but hey oh. Crematorium Registry. Last week, personal duty James Warren listed the deceased. Seven unidentified corpses. J. Hus S. Cole v. Black Jack White to be cremated urgently. This week, Robert Taylor on duty. Sixteen unidentified corpses and M. Jane. So we know James Warren was on duty, and then had to leave very soon after. Suspiciouser and suspiciouser. I locked up and left early today. The keys are on the table. This morning I heard wild beasts near the cemetery. Keys are on the table. Spooky, spooky. Okay. I'm a big fan of what's going on here. Not at all spooked out. Nothing wrong. What is that? That's a shovel. And judging by the dried blood and the dent on the shovel, it was used as a weapon. Someone tried to wash the stain out, but it's still slimy. Ah, it stinks. Ah, it reeks to high heaven. What is this stuff? Now that right there, remember Brutus said he woke up in a rug. Well, that looks like a rug to me. Why is it all doused in this slime, though? Curiouser and curiouser. Okay, let's have a little proper explore of this floor. Let's go bowling. Preach, son. Let's go bowling. Been ages since I went bowling. 
Bowling's a weird sport for me. Half the time, I'm an incredible bowler, like really, really high averages, like nearly competitive. And then half the time, I'm dreadful and get like 50. <laughs> like, it's always one or the other. I'm never just normal, you know? Ugh, in that life. All right. How do I... What do I do here? What's, what's going on? What's occurring? I thought I could get upstairs, but it doesn't seem to actually be the case. I suspect, if anything, I've missed something downstairs. I'm not seeing anything in here. To do some snooping. And this stuff's locked, right? Yeah, I can't get upstairs. Maybe they want me to go to the cemetery? They, saw, they, they said they saw wild beasts by the cemetery. But I'm missing clues here, in this building. So there's got to be something I'm not spotting. If it's anywhere, it's gonna be here, right? Ugh, what a stench. I know. Um now I'm pertubed. <laughs> we had to wait to get here, but now pertubance has begun. I just don't, I don't see anything else. What am I missing? Am I meant to go to the cemetery? Maybe? Question mark? I find that hard to believe. I don't wanna. There's no reason I should go there. There's nothing. I'm missing something inside the building. I will find that at the start of the next video and we will move on. Thank you very much for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you lovely folks next time. Cheers, much love as always. Bye bye.